Hey guys, it's been a minute since I did a video where I do a rockin' chat. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm going to start calling it. Um, Kingston's been wearing this little outfit for a while. It's one of the ones that's similar to what Vegas had on um, that I got from Bye Bye Baby for the $7.99. That was supposed to be $26 or something like that. But that is, that is a three-month-old. It just fits longer and a little baggier. But, say, aunties, I'm, I'm wearing it. <laughs> I put it right on him. And he looks so cute in it. So it's not that bad on him, as you can see. Um, it feels so good. That's the one thing with, I guess it's with anything. Um, yeah, it costs more. But the quality makes a difference because this feels, the fabric on this feels really, really nice. But the good part is that I got it for a bargain. I don't mind. I love getting stuff for a bargain. So I just wanted to share that. And I think that's how it works with our dolls. Um, I love high quality dolls, but I love getting a bargain. And speaking of which, um, you know, I've made so many videos and haven't uploaded them, so I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said, but hey, um, if I repeat myself in a video, please forgive me because I record and then I don't upload and then it'd be months later and then I upload and then it's like, okay, or I delete a lot of them and so I don't know what I deleted and what I did. But anyway, um... You know, I talk about sometimes, you know, everybody have their season and it's why a lot of us should be just happy and thrilled for one another when we get, you know, new babies. And even if we feel like, gosh, I never get to get, you know, nice babies like um, so and so and so or I never I wanted that baby or whatever. You know, if you learn to really be happy for people, other people, your season will come. And when your season come. You're going to want everybody to be extremely happy for you. So, because it's no fun to, you know, be in bliss all by yourself. It's one of the reasons why one, of, one thing about me outside of YouTube is that I love giving. Because I love to see someone else being happy. Anyway, enough on that. Um, so... You know, remember I was, you know, pretty much converting almost over to just silicone babies. I just was like, that's it, I, you know, which I do. I love my silicone babies more than reborns. That's no doubt. But reborns are definitely more affordable and they have lots more faces and all that stuff. Um, right now, I'm on an off season and I feel like this with my collection. I'll collect. So I might have some really, really expensive babies that I didn't mind, you know, spending the money on. And then I'll have some that I'm looking for his diaper. And then I have some that, you know, I'm only going to pay so much and I want a discount or a deal on it or I'm not getting it. Um, I also have a price bracket for reborns and I have a price bracket for silicone babies. And then I break it down by artist, too. Um, that's just my thing. Um, I don't even discuss my numbers with my closest friends or what I will pay, the max I'll pay for, you know, so-and-so baby or whatever. I just have it in my little head. And, you know, that's the way I go about it because prices have went up so much. I mean, I feel like, you know, of course... And this may not be an artist video because, you know, some artists do this for a living and some don't. Some do it as a second job or a hobby or extra money, you know. But I feel like everybody knows how this is an emotional purchase for us. And so, of course, they use that to their advantage. And so the prices of Reborns have like tripled, quadrupled since I first started collecting. And... Not that I can't justify it, like for Kingston, I have no regrets on the money that I've spent for him. I have bought some babies that I'm like, you know what, this baby is not worth it. Um, 
but I have no regrets with him. Um, you know, Claire rightfully deserve what she is being paid. Um, I can understand if somebody paid her even more. I can't afford more, but I could see if somebody even did because the, you have to see them in person to really appreciate it, especially with people that have been dealing with silicone for a long time and even longer than me. I'm sure they will appreciate the quality in her work because most silicones, you know, have some type of pouring flaw or something and her babies are pretty much and i've seen a lot of her babies in person and they're almost practically flawless um if you find something you're good um i'm not saying that they are perfect i'm just saying they're as perfect as i ever seen any silicone ever and so i can justify in my head you know that price or whatever but now do i need 20 of her babies no. Will I buy 20 of her babies? No, because I can't afford it. So I'm getting back to what I'm saying. I'm missing, you know, I like to do a lot of videos and stuff. And um, I do miss having different little faces like right now. I really, really wish I had, you know, more girls in the nursery. But I don't. And, but... You know, I really want, I'm going to be honest, I want a silicone baby girl, a full body girl, open eye, biracial, um, or some type of ethnic baby. It can be um, biracial, African American, Asian, Puerto Rican, I don't care, just some type of, eth you know, ethnic baby um, because that's something I don't really have. But I do need a, a, like a newborn or I do, well, I don't need it, but you know what I mean. I want one for my nursery. But um, prices is just ridiculous. And then this is my fun, this is the funny part. A lot of um, times the artist will say, yeah, I want 20000 You can do layaway. Okay, when I get through doing the layaway, is it still going to total up to $20,000? It might feel better doing it but it's still gonna be twenty thousand dollars so i have my caps but i am trying to make myself i'm very impatient um just like gabby <laughs> they didn't give mama none of that either so um i'm really trying to learn to do that way because that does help soften the blow and then one of the things that help and i don't know if you guys use this to you know to that effect is um, the PayPal, when they do, you can pay after delivery. When you get like invoices and stuff like that, you don't have to pay it right that minute. You pay it two weeks later. That is awesome. Even though for me, most of the time I have the money. Well, all the time I have the money when I buy something. I won't buy it if I don't have the money, but I don't like to spend it all at one time. So sometimes I do that you know, pay after delivery. And when I do the pay after delivery, the artists get their money right away, but I have two weeks to pay it so I can break the payment in half. So I'll take half and set it aside. And then the next two weeks, I take the other half and I can put it in there. Cause I only use, I use a separate account for my PayPal because we're dealing with online, right? And people are, you know, you're pulling stuff out of, you know, your account. You're putting your card number in different various locations and websites. So I have a credit card that I use strictly for online purchases, rather it's my dolls or anything else not to my main account because I don't need nobody messing with my livelihood. So... Yeah. So yeah, that is where I'm at. So I'm kind of, I'm starting to see a few new faces with um, the Reborns. I'm going to put him on this guy. Sorry, I forgot to tell you guys that. He, um, this is one of the little outfits I got. Let me see, I forget how much it was. It was on sale too. 
I don't know, the thing says $14.99. Wait, wait, wait. But I got it for $6.99. And it's uh, Planet Cotton. It came from Bye Bye Baby, too. That's what the tag looked like. But I got it on clearance. I'm telling you guys, I'm a clearance nut. I go straight to the clearance rack. And like when I'm in an expensive store, I go straight to the clearance rack. But yeah, so I've been seeing some more Reborns and I'm like, you know what? I may have to buy me some more Reborns to pacify this want for another baby because silicones are so expensive. And unless it's the perfect silicone for me, and I say for me, something that I'm really in love with, I'm not buying it. And I'm not even going to try to buy it. So, um, right now... I'm working on something in my personal life that I hope to be able to share with you guys. But it is taking up some of my money and time. Well, not time, but my brain cells. Um, so, once that is done, maybe I can get back to really buying. But I don't want to exhaust out my funds anyway on buying the most expensive babies either because... You know what? I gotta still have lights and water when the day is over with. <laughs> I ain't trying to get no new baby and rock it in the dark. So, not that I would do that, but yeah, I'm just back to on a budget, tight budget with my um, spending. So, I used to, you know, keep going and buying and buying and buying, but I like to kind of, now I'm like, okay, let me enjoy the babies in between what I have now before I move on to the next thing. I have seen some babies that have made my head spin, and I'm like, ugh. But I've been good. I've A couple times, like I said, I've almost bid it on one the other day, but it went past my limit, and I said, you know what, nope. And the only reason I was going after that baby is because one of the babies that I wanted, I couldn't get. And then I feel like I got to get something. Ooh. Sorry, this shirt just crawls up. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about something too on my next video. Because this video is about to go up too high. But I want to talk to you guys about some things that I've been going through and reading um, that's been coming my way that I just want to kind of put out there and I want to tell you guys a few little personal things about me so when you click on the next video um, maybe I'll be brave enough to go ahead and hit public <laughs> I need to hurry up before he y'all don't get to see him fully dressed he is um, really fit in this little outfit. I figured he would. It's a three month. But he can fit some three months. Because he's newborn size. But more like a two month old baby. Because he's kind of chunky. Depends on how big your babies were when they were born. I had big, two big babies and two tiny babies. So he's the size of what my son was when he was born. So... This is like the size he came home as. Because <laughs> he was 8 pounds, 14 ounces, but the doctor thought he was 10 pounds. He made the nurse reweight him like three times and then questioned the scale. And he was like, are you sure? Have you guys been having problems with that scale? He was like, that baby has got to be bigger. He said, <laughs> he was like, he got to be at least 10 pounds. It was funny. It was really funny, even in all the pain that I was in. Wait, I'm lying. I wasn't in any pain, as much pain with him, because they had me good and numbed up. But um, but it was funny. Through all of that, it was really funny. I actually bust out laughing, because I agreed with him. He looked huge. I was like, whoa, 8 pounds, 14 ounces, you sure about that? Maybe 9 pounds and 14 ounces, but definitely not 8. There's the little boy. Look at this. 